Welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts, guys. Today we're going to um, go ahead and change out the faucet cartridge that's in this faucet. Uh, this morning we're, we're having a problem with uh, water pressure. And as well as, for some reason, I'm getting hot water everywhere else in the house but this shower. So I'm hoping by changing out the uh, cartridge that's in there, um, that'll fix that. Now the reason I'm changing out the uh, the cartridge in this faucet is because, like I said earlier, we've got low pressure and it stops giving us hot water out of the the uh, shower. Everywhere in the house has hot water except for the shower. So what I'm thinking is we have really hard water here, and this cartridge has been here for as long as we've owned the house. Um, so who knows how long it was in there prior to that. So I'm thinking the hard water is probably clogging up the cartridge that's in there. And hopefully, if nothing else, if by changing it, we can increase our water pressure in the shower. That would be awesome as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started, and I'll show you what we need to do. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take this handle right here off. Okay? In order to do that, we're going to use an Allen wrench. We're just going to come up from the bottom and we're going to remove the holding screw. Then we should just be able to pull the handle right off. And before you do any of this, guys, you're going to want to turn the water off. We're going to take this screw right here out now. And pull that off and pull the little plastic piece off. Pull this one and pull this out. And this is the cartridge that we're going to have to remove. And remove the face plate just so that I can access behind it. I just want to be able to see if there's any other issues going on. Alright, the inside of there actually looks pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and grab a um, wrench to pull this out. Before I do that though, I'm going to grab a scrubby. And I'm going to clean this ring now that that's off. Let's get that cleaned up. Alright guys, so I don't know if the water is all the way off, it was still dripping a little bit, so what I'm going to do to protect this is I'm just going to take a towel and I'm going to wedge it in here. So if it does leak at all, because I don't think it's going to be a big leak, but if it leaks at all, it'll hit the towel and that should protect it. Alright, so the next thing we need to do in order to get the cartridge out is there's this little, this little pin right here. Mm. Hey guys, we're going to go see if we can't find this part, so let's go. So, we don't know if we're going to find it or not. Alright, so we need the plumbing aisle. You know where you're going? All right, well, you take me there. Oh, we also need a pinkish Need what? We also need a pinkish Come this guy, Actually, here. Let's go get that first. It's going to be right over here. 
We want one of those small ones right there. One of these? Yep. All right. And these are only 30, 73 cents. We have these, but they're actually really, um, really hot. Okay, like, there you go. All right, no, so now where's the plumbing aisle? They're, they're hard now. I'm following you. Wait, what? No, no, no. Hey, plumbing aisle. Oh. But that's the thing. Which All right, so we're in the plumbing aisle. We're going to look for uh, the sink repair. There's a faucet repair aisle right there. Faucet repair. So we'll see if the part is here. Yeah, we just gotta find the one that's like this. Like that one Look for one that's called molar. Or uh, not molar, mowing. Mowing? Oh. And it's white. Comment down below if you guys have seen it yet. All right, it says, this one says for mowing. It looks similar, so let's hold off. Wait, let's repair them. Let's see. Oh. That looks almost the same. But it comes with the, the thingy that we don't have on our all right, guys, it looks like we've got the right ones here. So, let's go back home. All right, guys, so we're back from Home Depot. You saw that I bought one of these uh, sponges. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clean out the pipe. Um, I've got some rust remover that's safe to use on pipes. So, I'm going to put that on my sponge here. Right here. And then we're just going to go in there and scrub the inside of this valve. All right, that's looking good. Now I'm going to open up the new one. Now these come with a tool right here. This tool is designed to put onto the old one to pull it off, but we already pulled it off, so we don't need that. The new one comes with this little capsule. We're going to just open up the, take it out of the package here. This is a lubricant. What we're going to do is we're going to apply that to these rubber gaskets on the side. So we just take the cap off. Squeeze out the, the gasket lubricant. Spread that around it. Put that on the other one. That around. That's just going to make it easier to get it in. All right. Now we're going to look for the side that says HC. Right there, it says HC on it, and we're just going to slide that straight in, keeping that facing up. Just going to push it straight in. I 
and it should go right in. Maybe we need to apply a little more of that lubricant. We go it's going now all right we just got to get that in a little bit further the clip see if we can't get the clip in feels like it's got to go in just a little bit more guys so I just went to Home Depot um, to get something else I thought you know pulling and yanking on that one to slide it in now it was having problems um, what I'm going to recommend for you guys is if you do this project save yourself a little bit of time and aggravation and get yourself a thing of lubricant because what I noticed is every time I was pushing it in and out it would go in a little bit further so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually lubricate what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to actually lubricate inside of here as well as the rubber gaskets. And that should help it slide in a lot better. I just think that was the problem. Is I just With the amount of lubricant that they gave me, I wasn't able to put enough of it on and get it lubricated enough that it just slid right in. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Got the new lubricant. I'm going to go ahead and apply it to this first. I need to cut. Apply it to both sides here. And then I'm going to apply it to my finger. I'm going to lubricate the inside here. And hopefully, that's going to help it slide in the rest of the way. So again, we're going to take it. We're going to make sure the HC is on top. And we're going to try to slide this in again. There we go. So 
So, you, so you definitely want to save yourself a little bit of aggravation and get some extra lubricant. That way it goes right in. I mean, I didn't have to struggle with that or anything. So, good to go. Who's knocking? Izzy. Come on, what's up? Your daddy get out. Alright guys, so I just went to Home Depot um, to get something else. I thought, you know, pulling and yanking on that one to slide it in and out. It was having problems. Um, what I'm going to recommend for you guys is if you do this project, save yourself a little bit of time and aggravation and get yourself a thing of lubricant. Because what I noticed is every time I was pushing it in and out, it would go in a little bit further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually lubricate. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to actually lubricate inside of here as well as the rubber gaskets. And that should help it slide in a lot better. I just think that was the problem. Is I just With the amount of lubricant that they gave me, I wasn't able to put enough of it on and get it lubricated enough that it just slid right in. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Got the new lubricant. I'm going to go ahead and apply it to this first. I need to cut. Apply it to both sides here. And then I'm going to apply it to my finger. I'm going to lubricate the inside here. And hopefully that's going to help it slide in the rest of the way. So again, we're going to take it. We're going to make sure the HC is on top. And we're going to try to slide this in again. There we go. So you, so you definitely want to save yourself a little bit of aggravation and get some extra lubricant. That way it goes right in. I mean, I didn't have to struggle with that or anything. So good to go. Who's knocking? Izzy. Come on, what's up? Your daddy get out. Alright guys, so I just went to Home Depot um, to get something else. I thought, you know, pulling and yanking on that one to slide it in and out. It was having problems. Um, what I'm going to recommend for you guys is if you do this project, save yourself a little bit of time and aggravation and get yourself a thing of lubricant. Because what I noticed is every time I was pushing it in and out, it would go in a little bit further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually lubricate. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to actually lubricate inside of here as well as the rubber gaskets. And that should help it slide in a lot better. I just think that was the problem. Is I just With the amount of lubricant that they gave me, I wasn't able to put enough of it on and get it lubricated enough that it just slid right in. So we're going to go ahead and do that now.
apply it to both sides here. And then I'm going to apply it to my finger. I'm going to lubricate the inside here. And hopefully that's going to help it slide in the rest of the way. So again, we're going to take it. We're going to make sure the HC is on top, and we're going to try to slide this in again. Ah, there we go. So, you, so you definitely want to save yourself a little bit of aggravation and get some extra lubricant. That way it goes right in. I mean, I didn't have to struggle with that or anything, so good to go. Alright, so now that that's off, or back in, we're going to take that little clip, going in from the top, we're just going to push that back down, so that holds that in, just like that. Now, before I do anything, I'm going to go turn all the water on. And make sure we don't have any leaks before I put the faucet back together. Okay, so the hot water is on. I'm going to go ahead and slide this piece back on. And remove my towel. Sorry about the dripping of the water. It's because this is actually, the valve is actually on. Need to get that to the point where it's off. What's the valve? That should be the off. Alright, so now we're just going to re put all this stuff back in. Right there. That back on. Slide that back on. That should line everything up. Now we got that, we're going to go ahead and put this back on. Sorry. That's tight. Now we put the handle back on. Slide it on. Take your retaining bolt and the allen wrench that fits it go up from the bottom we go around so you can find the the hole Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down, before I just turned on the hot water, from one of the valves, the one that I knew would only produce a little bit of water coming out, so that there wouldn't be a large leak. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down and turn on all the water, and then we'll check the, uh, and see if we got a hot water coming out of the top again, and see if it also helped to increase our water pressure. I'll be right back. Guys, it's working. 
All right, I've got hot water again. And I think the pressure has increased a little bit. Not drastic, actually quite a bit there. Um, hold on a minute. Turn that one off. Yeah, that's uh, pretty good. I'm going to put you down for a minute. All right, guys, so that worked out pretty well. Everything seems to be working pretty good. The hot water is coming back out again, hot. Um, and it did seem to increase the water pressure a little bit. Again, guys, I do highly recommend if you do this job that you go ahead and you replace or you get that extra uh, lubricant to make the job that much easier. Thanks for coming along, guys. Have a great day, and don't forget to click that subscribe button.